Hi, everybody. Inside the Panerai booth with Alessandro. Hi, Teddy. Good to finally meet you. Welcome. Thank you for having me. In front of us, a lot of radio here. And what I would like to do, just to take a step back before we dive into the pieces, I'd like to set the stage for giving some sense to what this model means for Panerai. So could you first establish that, and then let's go into some of the new novelties. You know, Radiomir is the most historic Panerai watch. It's the watch that has been presented to the Italian Navy in 1935. That's why the theme of the year for Panerai is Radiomir, una storia leggendaria. So we talk about the legendary history of the brand. And uh, thanks to the Radiomir, we restage our most historic line with a strong historic association, association with uh, Florence, with Italy, uh, with uh, the real Italian design. You know, our collection is made of four lines, uh, from uh, Luminor uh, mm -hmm. to Submersible, uh, to Luminor 2 to Radiomir. If last year Panerai World that Watches a Wonder was about a diving world, we were underwater mm -hmm. with the Submersible, this year we are above the water, and uh, if Submersible was the watch for the diver, Radiomir uh, it can be considered the watch of the captain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where do we want to potentially begin? We have California dial. Uh, we have eight day here. So what, what are you most excited about and where do you want to set the but stage? I will start with the uh, Radiomir Otto Giorni, okay. including the California, because these are the watches uh, that talk about the legendary history of the brand. Because it's, this is the Radiomir, uh, the case uh, uh, inspired by the watch from the last century mm -hmm. with the cushion shape design, dome sapphire crystal, the ansia filo, the conical crown, uh, sandwich dial, uh, and uh, that we are presenting with the eight days caliber and wound. They are all in eight wound because it uh, reflects uh, and they are inspired by the historical timepieces of last century. And uh, uh, that are presented with this Brunito finishing. So yeah, can you talk about the case finish? Like, how is that done? He is uh, aged steel, mm -hmm. is made in steel, that is a recycle, is our steel, uh, where we apply a PVD, physical vapor deposition, mm -hmm. and then every case is treated hand by hand, is brushed, so every case has a unique appearance, because it's the brush finishing is handmade. So every case is unique for all the collection mm -hmm. of the Brunito. So case size, dimensions, could you walk us through that as well? Yeah, 45 millimeter. Mm -hmm. uh, historically, the first Panerai watches uh, from 1935, we're at 47 mm -hmm. millimeter. Mm -hmm. We work a lot on the dimension to have the best proportion on the on the wrist. Um, 45 millimeter, uh, eight days caliber, visible on the back. Uh, um, dome sapphire crystal in order to confer uh, a strong vintage look, uh, but with a modern contemporary touch. You can see also the dial is a gradient, mm -hmm. so it's darker on the side and uh, lighter inside. It's available in blue and in brown color. And the inspiration is from the historic dial that were made in aluminum. And uh, with the passage of the time, the aluminum had a, an a anodization effect. Uh, so the dial, the color of the dial was uh, faded, was changing. Mm -hmm. The dial, the past were black, uh, but then it was becoming lighter, the color. So the, this dial paid tribute uh, to this uh, historic feature on the dial. And the other thing I noticed about this, I mean, the silhouette is so iconic for Panerai and the wired lugs. These are watches you have to try on to really yeah, feel them, course. understand them, because you hear these dimensions and y y y there really is nothing else like a Panerai when you put it on the wrist, which is a unique thing. And it's also a watch that when you see ac across the room, you could recognize it. Yeah. Shifting to being recognizable, can we talk about the California dial? And maybe yeah. some context too around the, what does this you know, dial represent for the brand? But the beauty of the California dial, first of all, is that uh, we don't even have the logo on the dial. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it's so recognizable, the design of a uh, Panerai watches, so this is also valid for the Luminor with the device protecting the crown. The design is so unmistakable that you can recognize a watch, a Panerai watch, without even having the logo on the dial. Today I'm wearing a, a, a Radiomir Bronzo 47 millimeter, that is also a big size for the brand, mm -hmm. but we decided for the California to present it for the first time uh, on a 45 millimeter mm -hmm. case. With this uh, Brunito finishing, also in this case, uh, 45 millimeter, Dome Sapphire Crystal, and the California dial uh, is characterized by this uh, combination of Roman and Arabic numerals with the uh, chemin de fer, this minutery on the outer side of the dial. It is, uh, let me say, it's a kind of star that watches a wonder in these days. Everyone wants this watch uh, because of also this uh, green dial. Mm -hmm. It's grainy, darker on the side, uh, lighter inside, uh, and green dial is very demanded uh, nowadays is the production will be limited to only 600 pieces per year. Uh, 
Okay. And it's also characterized by this uh, hot printing uh, on the strap with G. Panerai and Filio. That is, uh, Guido Panerai and Filio was the signage of the old uh, uh, boutique uh, in Florence uh, hmm. of last century. Because be before becoming Officine Panerai, the name was Guido Panerai and Filio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's another element. Very unique watch. Also, this one at this power reserve. We don't even uh, uh, write uh, Otto Giorni, in this case, brevetato. But this is the ADS mechanical caliber uh, for uh, this uh, special uh, California. Just a purist approach. Shifting over to something with a little bit more involved, can yeah. we talk about the calendar? Uh, yes, the calendar. Calendar, let me see, the annual calendar is. Uh, uh, Radio Mir this year is about uh, watches with the historic association, but mm -hmm. it's also about what we call Eleganza Italiana. Italian elegance that can be on the Radio Mir 40, that we'll see later, mm -hmm. or on the annual calendar. The annual calendar is about complication, it's the pinnacle in terms of uh, complication, high end caliber, is the result uh, of the Laboratory di Day work. Uh, you know that uh, the Laboratory di Day mm -hmm. for Panerai is very important, it's the merge of uh, Italian design. My team in Milan that is working on marketing, communication, design on the watches, and the watchmaker and engineer in uh, Neuchâtel, in mm -hmm. our manufacturer. And the idea was to develop uh, a specific complication for the Radimir and an annual calendar that is patented by Panerai with three days power reserve automatic, where you can, uh, where you have the month indication on this disc on the other part of the dial. The dial remains very Panerai, very simple, very clean with the 12, with the 6. We have the quick correction of the hour by so the isolated crown local hour. Yes. and the uh, first position. And the beauty that you can go forward and backward. By and when you go back now is... Uh, you get the date? Is Yes, it's Thursday 1st of April. Mm -hmm. The beauty is everything is written in Italian, so it's better that you learn Italian before buying the watch. Uh, because <laughs> this calendar annual is Gio, is Giovedì, Thursday, April. So, and when you go back, you can see that the disc uh, jump. Mm -hmm. and you can go forward or backward. You cross the midnight and you can see the jump, jumping nice. disc that goes in the other direction. No restriction, very easy setting. You know, the functional design is a must for Panerai watches since ever. And this is what we are applying every time we develop a new caliber. This is presented on the platinum case with this uh, fascinating Burgundy dial mm -hmm. and will be associated to an experience. So the clients, by buying this watch, they don't buy just a watch, but they buy also an exclusive experience that will be held next uh, February, March in Roma. <laughs> and uh, it will be a surprise with our clients uh, because they will do something very special and unique with the brand. Finally, the Quanta, 40 millimeter. Finally, the 40, 40 millimeter. Uh, you know, we were to, I was talking before about Eleganza Italiana. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very elegant watch. An elegant watch that you can wear uh, with your suit. Uh, it presented in uh, Goltec with this uh, white uh, sunbrush dial. Uh, the Eleganza Italiana part is with automatic caliber. Also, mm -hmm. this one with the three days power reserve. Mm -hmm. You know that all the assortment of Panerai is made of mechanical watches, or end-wound, or automatic. This one automatic. Uh, uh, classic is the most classic Panerai watch. It is available in gold, but also in steel with the three different color of dial, from blue to white to black. The beauty is that by changing the strap, you can be more classic or more trendy. Mm -hmm. And uh, 40 millimeter is a size that for Panerai is a small size. Yes. You know that in the watch industry is not that small. So it's a, it's a watch that can be fit can fit to men wrist, mm -hmm. but also for women. So by changing the strap, by having a, a shiny alligator strap, red and purple and pink, it can become a ladies' watch as well. So is uh, you know that our clients love to mm -hmm. play with the strap with our watches. It's a, it's a watch that we didn't have in our assortment because it's, uh, you know we have big watches usually. So we are listening to our clients that were looking for something even smaller uh, or something to be worn uh, under the shirt. And uh, this is the answer. So you're trying to find that balance because, you know, you come from this as a collector, 47 millimeters, that's the affiliation with Panerai, but this is starting to become more of a focus potentially, I mean, at least trying to find that both sides of your collector's uh, maybe requests. Yeah, you know, uh, our core business continue to be 44, 45 millimeter. Mm -hmm. This is our core business. We continue to offer uh, watches in 47 millimeter size. Mm -hmm. 
uh, on Luminor, on Submersible, Submersible with the Carbotech, with the BMG, all the mm -hmm. high complication on the watches that we develop for the military forces, mm -hmm. like the One Navy Seals or uh, with Marina Militare that work very well. We have our uh, uh, aficionados for the brand who loves 47 millimeter size. Of course. But then there are also new clients uh, that uh, love the design but would like something more let me say, wearable for smaller wrists. And uh, it's important also to follow, uh, to listen to our clients or to the prospects uh, and offer watches like the Luminor 2 or the Radio Mirror 40 mm that give us the opportunity to attract new clients, mm -hmm. the younger generation, but also ladies, uh, always respecting the codes of the brand mm -hmm. in terms of aesthetic, in terms of design, again, functional design, the feature, the 12, the 6, the sandwich dial, so you don't miss anything about an historic Panerai, but in a smaller size. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for this sit down. It was great to get a rundown and dive into all things Radio Mir. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you. Grazie. Arrivederci. Right, right. Bye. <laughs>